almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Michelle Patel. Her Dean, our referee for this ready. one. Ready. Good. All right, round one underway. Here is the former UFC Bantamweight champion, Misha Tate. At times, she has been tentative in round one. So this bears watching tonight. How will Tate choose to attack this particular opponent? No denying she has a lot of advantages in the fight. But can she get off to a good start tonight? That could be key. Straight right hand on the counter is good. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands amongst the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. So both girls landing right out of the chute. Big punch lands through the middle. Takedown defense holds up. Huge knee lands to the clinch. Immediately gets the underhook. She gets to the single collar tie. Look for her to try to move her opponent to find openings to land uppercuts and shots right up the middle. Massive body kick land. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. She lands a huge leg kick. There it is again. Nice punch to the head. Takedown defense holds up. Clean punch. Oh, high kick. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Well, she said in these situations she had to protect her head, and defensively she has done an outstanding job of that. She could not do it any better up to this point. Big power shot there. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Massive kick to the head. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, big left hand. Oh, heavy kick to that lead leg. That'll leave a mark. Oh, oh she hurt her. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, big left. And she misses with the left punch there. Under two minutes now to go. Tate's strike attempt there is blocked. While she continues to land to the body, attacking those organs, right? Not a lot of protection there, and you're seeing some visible damage now on the other side. Visible damage. She's done a tremendous job understanding and recognizing where the weakness was, and she has exploited that, and she's going to continue as she tries to get her hand raised. All right, well, a lot of credit to Roger Crawl and the entire team, but it seems as though Amanda Nunes has taken her striking to the next level here tonight, dominating on the feet. That's such a scary thought to think that Amanda Nunes is still getting better. 
for the division. She has been dominant for so long. But when you look at her tonight, that act, her striking accuracy is as good as we've ever seen it. She looks amazing. Oh, look at the inside leg kick. She grounds her opponent now. Could be the beginning of the end, Chad. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Nunes. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, hook to the head by Tate. Well, she seems to be moving okay, but her calf has started to show some real damage. Well, you can tell every time she gets hit in that spot, you see a big reaction. She's got to do something different. Nice crack there. Oh! oh, she's in a world of trouble now. Just out of range with the big right hand. before she got absolutely starched by that huge shot just before the final horn. So she goes back to the stool now. We'll see the extent to which she can recover. As many of you know, 60 seconds, not a lot of time. All right, so a lot of strike absorption by her in that previous round. She got stunned on the feet, but survives to see another round. Talk us through the replay, man. You look at the action here. They're going back and forth, and boom, there goes that big strike that lands that really does hurt her opponent. She could not find the follow-up shot, Ready but eventually, she Ready. will find that moment. Round two on the way. Ooh. Huge kick lands again. Went for the inside leg kick. Tate gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Oh, nice inside leg kick. Yeah. Well, the Lioness Amanda Nunes has found her groove early, one of the faster starters in the game. And really, since going to American Top Team full time, that has helped her take her career to the next level. Her future's in the UFC Hall of Fame. Still a lot of work to do for the Lioness, though, in the press. Superman punch now. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Trying to establish that jab once again. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Oh, swing and a miss. How about the slip by her there? Oh! John, she's hurt. She's done. It, it looks like it's over. Jab to the head by Tate. All right, so different rounds, same narrative, and it's the wrestler's hands, not her takedowns. She came here to box today. Yes, yeah, she came here to box, John. She told us that we were going to be very surprised at how good she looked in the stand-up. And to this point, she has proven that. But I wonder how soon we can expect a level change for her to try to take her opponent down, because ultimately, you always go back to what you do instinctively, and we know that's a wrestler. Well, she's got the longer reach. No problem finding her range and landing the straight punch there. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Tate. She's got a big mouse under her eye already. Hands up, hands up. Hook to the head there by Tate. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Oh, what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. Under two minutes to go. Oh, nice. Oh, 
All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landed. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she could continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Shot fire there. She's got her opponent on the ropes. She's got her hurt very badly. A shot to the body is one of the most damaging strikes you can take in all the fight. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. The right hand just misses. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike landing. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will... Yeah, huge shot by her there. Probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike. And you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. 30 seconds left. Let's go. Let's go. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. All right, so Nunez's eye is starting to swell shut. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot, land. How's she gonna try to find the next shot? That oh. fight. 10 minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through it. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet. So you knew when you were watching her land so many strikes low, eventually she would go high, and she did, and got that big knockdown that really did determine this round. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round on the way. Oh, she continues to punish the body yet again here, just as she did in the previous round. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. That one landed clean. Oh, she's got her in a lot of trouble. Slips and then rips. Beautifully done. She's so fast, so straight. Oh, another one. Oh, inside leg kick. I mean, you could hear the thwack from here. Yeah, right away you hear it. You hear the impact at which she's landing this kick. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find that one shot that would have finished the fight. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their... Oh, that's about as big a body shot as you'll see, DC. Let's see if she can close the show here. She landed that strike perfect. She was looking for it, and she found the moment where it landed. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Tate. Oh! That was it! Oh, my God! Yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 28 seconds of round number three.
declaring the winner by knockout, Amanda Lioness of the Ring, Nunez. All right, so another big win and result for the consensus greatest of all time, the Lioness Amanda Nunez, your winner by knockout here tonight. And man, when she hits, she does not miss. I mean, she doesn't miss, and she hits ridiculously hard for a woman at Bantamweight. She can shut your lights out like we have seen her do on so many occasions.